Hey, this is Lenny. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the Daily Grid Trading Expert Advisor one more time. Because we did several videos now together writing, coding this program. And um, it was like a series. And I like to end my series with a... Um, yeah, I often do some backtesting or optimization in the end with the Expert Advisor to see if it actually works or might work or uh, if it doesn't. And um, for this EA, it is really um, interesting. So first of all, I want to show again how this program works now. And then um, I will give you some optimization results. So first of all, um, here I started the strategy tester with this program now. And you can see um, whenever there is a new day, like here, for example, the EA first of all figures out the uh, moving average uh, trend uh, direction pretty much so if we are above this moving average then we have a buy trend if we are below we have a sell trend so the plan is just to follow this trend so if we are above this moving average expert uh, indicator we place um, buy stop and sell limit orders at the previous day pivot points so we have the pivot point the r1 r2 r3 and the uh, three support lines and you can see them here they are also um, displayed in the chart. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So we um, place these orders at a specific time in the morning. For this run, I chose, um, yeah, I think I, I just um, open at the at, at a new day. And then we end uh, or we close all of these positions at, um, uh, at, at uh, 18 o'clock or whatever time we um, set in the uh, expert advisor inputs. So you can see here I started at 0.30 and ended the trades at 18 o'clock. And um, the TP and SL is in this test run 1%. So this is 1% of your account. So if all of these trades are 1% in profit, we close. And if all of these trades are... Um, yeah, 1% uh, in, in loss of like of the account, then we also close the trades. Yeah, and this is it. So there's nothing really more to say. What you can do now is you can run a lot of tests in this visual mode where you look at the code, uh, uh, where you look at the program, look at the, um, at the, at the uh, data, and um, yeah, you can, you can do this. It is a really slow um, method of backtesting. So a much faster method is to use the optimization so in your strategy tester you can click on overview and um, click on complete optimization and if you go to the inputs now you can um, select several columns here and um, or, or, um, uh, rows pretty much and then um, you can set starting values step values and stop values um, for these three columns here and then the optimization will combine all of these possible options so here for example i said i want to test with stops and without so these are two testing steps so th this would be two tests and then i said i also want to test the tp percent starting from one um, with a step of one ending at five. Um, so these are in total five steps. So we have to multiply two with five because all of these possible combinations would result in test uh, in, in 10 runs, in 10 backtest runs. And then we also have like the SL percentage, with, which are again five steps. So we have five more steps. And if we multiply this with 10, we have a total of 50 uh, backtests. So this, if we start this now, this program would automatically do 50 backtests for the um, here selected period. And I did this already for a period starting at um, the 1st of January 2010 and ending at the current point of time, which is um, uh, yeah the middle of 2022 pretty much. So we selected this daily grid trading program, Euro US dollar. And the results are... Um, wait a second... How can we see the optimization results? I think I have to run this. Yeah, and these are the results. This was really fast because I tested with these um, parameters before. So you can see um, the stops are either true or false. 
Um, the TP percent is going from 5 to 1 and the SL percent is going from 5 to 1 also. And what we can see here is um, we can see several th things. So it works better, I think, if we use the stops and the limits. It also works better if we choose a higher TP percentage because like on average this gave us the better results and with a very low TP percentage um, the back tests were really really bad. Then we have a stop loss percentage which is also um, yeah we cannot really find a um, um, a good like uh, takeaway from this I think. So the SL percentage we have good runs with ASL percentage of 5 and bad runs with ASL percentage of 5. So um, yeah, there is no real rule to take away. But stops um, are genu gen generally good and TP percent should be high. But overall, if we look at the result, we can see none of these 50 tests were positive. And this is like really significant, I think. And um, we made a lot of trades, of course, 6,000 trades, um, like... Uh, for some of the runs and um, we, um, ne we, we, yeah, we never made a profit. So we, we did 50 tests with, uh, with 50 different combinations and in the euro dollar for this selected period of the last 12 years pretty much, there was not a single back test that was positive. And if we see a result like this, it never really makes sense to choose some of these settings and run them in a live trading scenario in my opinion because if the test is already not really performing it means something so we should either work on the strategy more or we maybe just drop it and work on something else because the results are not really good so these are my optimization results i will run another optimization now with a index for example we could choose a um, wait, where do we have them? Yeah, we can choose, for example, the US 30, so the Dow Jones uh, index, and we can make the same run pretty much here. And maybe we will see some differences. We can also uh, change the inputs a little bit. We can say, for example, we trade with stops and limits uh, every time now, and the TP percentage, we can set it a little bit higher. So maybe we can start at 3 and end at 10, something like this. Because we saw before that this is, um, that it usually works better if we have a higher TP percentage. And then we also have the SL percentage. Here we can go maybe from 1 up to 10. Or no, this would be a lot of, uh, a lot of tests, maybe up to 6, something like this. So we have roughly 50 test runs again. And the time, um, I think this time it does not really make a lot of sense. We should start, um, somewhere at, uh, 1530, I guess, where the market opens, or I think I have to say 1630. Because uh, there's a uh, one hour change, and I think we close at 22 or tw 23 o'clock. Yeah, something like this. So maybe we can um, give it a run in the, in the visualized mode to see if everything works, and then we will start the optimization to, to have uh, another comparison. So we tested in two markets and not only the euro US dollar, but, on, uh, but also a index, and then this will give us some better. Um, yeah, so some more data to uh, evaluate this, this strategy. But after the first optimization in Euro US dollar, I would say this is not like really, it's not really going that well. So um, yeah, we see we do not open positions. I think this might be because I cannot open 0 0.1 lots or the moving average was not there. Um. No, I think we do not have data here. So I don't really know how much data I have here, but it seemed like I did not have the one hour data for um, for the Dow Jones here, starting from 2010. 
So we start at 2015 now and see if we have data here. Um, yeah, this looks better now. Um, still, we do not open positions. So there's there must be some other problem. Uh, now we see some trades. Maybe there was still not enough data, but now we see trades here. Yeah, so we can see there is some trading. Positions are opened and closed. So I think we can start the optimization and see if it works better here. And if we can generate some positive results. So let's go back to the overview, click complete optimization, check the inputs, everything is still where we uh, set it before. Yeah, I think we can just test uh, start the optimization and we will see the results here later on and then I will give you one more, uh, like another feedback on this market if it works here. And if it doesn't, I think I will just drop the system and work on something else in the next videos. Um, also, if you did your own testing, so if you followed the tutorials about coding this program and if you did your own testing, if, if you found some really good settings in some market, uh, yeah, let me know about it and uh, in the comments below and maybe I can make one more video about it. But right now I would say this uh, strategy, like how we set it up here with the moving average filter and the pivot points, it not, it's not really like too promising. So I will not really put, I'm not, I'm not really willing to put much more time into it. But let's, uh, let's wait for the optimization results and then we will be able to say, uh, say more about it. So most of these optimization runs are now finished and you can see here, it's pretty much like the same pattern that we saw with the Euro solar trades. Um, testing showed that it is not really profitable. So um, with the system that we built here, like how it is right now, we cannot really achieve possible uh, positive results or at least not in my first test. And um, I think at this point, I would not really invest more time in this approach and um, yeah, just drop the system and go to something new. And this is um, something really important that I learned in my time as a trader slash programmer. Um, it is not always a good idea to try to force a system to work because sometimes it is easier and faster to change like the general approach of the system and maybe f try to think in a complete new direction um, than trying to optimize a existing system that doesn't really seem to work. So this is something that I found out for myself, which works quite good for me. And um, yeah, maybe you can uh, take away some, uh, some learnings from this uh, series. Also, and um, yeah, after all, if you found some profitable settings, please let me know in the comment section below. I think there might be some good markets or, or, or currencies um, with the right settings that, that could work. But um, yeah, after all, I didn't really find them in the first optimization runs. And so I will end this uh, series on this channel and we will focus on something new in the next video. So um, yeah, if you have any wishes, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, I cannot um, make a video for everything because lately I receive too much comments, but it's always a good inspiration. And sometimes I take one or two of these um, uh, wishes and make a video or build a video around it. So this is it for the <laughs> um, Daily Grid Trading Expert Advisor. And uh, we will see each other in the next video. Until then, have a great time. Bye-bye.